my name is Asia Renee. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. Y'all. Y'all. Let me take off my glasses. I feel the reflection to get on my nerves. Y'all. We hit one. First of all, I could cry. I'm not gonna get emotional on this camera. Cause now I'm a cry baby cancer. So I cry about everything. But honestly, like I'm so shocked that it even got to this point where it's like 1,000 of y'all are subscribed to me. Like, that's so crazy. Like, I try not to think on numbers too much, right? Because I know, you know, my YouTube is gonna grow. But like, just think about a thousand. Imagine being in a room with a thousand people. That's a lot of people. I just wanted to, first of all, come and thank all of you for supporting me thus far in this year. Like, I'm really, putting the car into drive because the content is coming period like on a serious note thank y'all so much again for supporting me i cannot wait to see where this youtube journey this content creation journey is gonna take me and i'm super excited it's a new year i got some other exciting news i had to get a new job and i got a new bag period so i was already corporate baddie but now I'm about to be like an in the office corporate baddie. So I have to get like the, the corporate baddie staple. Like, okay, so here is the bag that it comes in. It's a little crumpled because it's been on like a journey through the city. Like, I love ripping stuff with them. It's like my specialty. Okay, so it comes in this huge yellow dust bag. And I got the St. Louis GM. It was, I was kind of like stuck between the GM and the PM, but like, I feel like when I have bags, like especially like when I'm going to work or if I'm traveling, like I put my whole life in them. So I wanted to get the bigger one. So let me just show y'all. The essay did say that you're not supposed to put laptops in these, but like so many people use this as a work bag. So does come with a pouch the pouch is a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be but anyway y'all um this is my last week working at hold on let me change the this week i'm really just going to be kind of wrapping up the loose ends at my current job getting ready to transition to my new one and then this weekend i have a dinner planned with my friends to celebrate you know the new job and then also like one case of skyber so yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Yeah. Hey guys, so I probably look mad crazy because I'm about to go get my hair done. Um, so yeah, right now I'm on the way, like I said, to get my hair done. I'm getting a, um, a glueless wig installed, the one I had in for my birthday. Um, so, cause I wanted like a real like corporate baddie look. I was trying to like, I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to get like leave out or whether I wanted to get another frontal, but I just decided that I was gonna get another frontal. Sorry I'm holding the phone like this. I'm trying not to get stopped or nothing like that. Um, so yeah, I will pick y'all back up when I get to my hair appointment. Yeah, right? I don't know who to contact here to get paid. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Wait, on who? TikTok. Uh, TikTok? Once you reach 10,000 followers, you could, they start paying you.
I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji Zanibos, what's that dog? Is it giving corporate baddie? Is it, is it giving that? I love getting my hair done. Like, when I get my hair done, I just... When I get my hair done, I just... I feel so good. Like, I feel great. Like... So, I think I mentioned this earlier, but this is the same wig that I got installed um, by Tasha back in July. But I, I got it straight. So, I was like, no, this time let me get it curly. You know give it a little bit of volume it is glueless so she doesn't have any glue on her uh i could take it off but you know i'm probably not gonna take it off because i don't know how to like recreate these baby hairs Hello. i even Hello. answer my calls oh <sighs> today is saturday y'all i got my hair done yesterday y'all i got ptsd like if you're like african or caribbean like you know when like either it was like the night before school or something like that and your mom would cook and she would cook like fish like tilapia or i don't even know what my mom cooked and the next day your whole school outfit like the outfit you picked out would smell like fish my mom was cooking just now and my whole i feel like my whole outfit smells like I smell my fishy and I have to go outside and be around people and I'm be stinking like fish. But anywho, uh, when I saw y'all yesterday, I think I was talking to y'all about how um, I was leaving my job. This is my last week, so it was really like it was really bittersweet for me um, because you know it was my first like big girl, big girl job. Like I really felt like that was like it was such a huge accomplishment for me. So to be moving on and like. You know going to like a bigger position it's just so crazy like i'm only like two years out of college so like to be able to accomplish you know so much like especially like going into this new year like having you know a new job i bought a new car like i, I did a lot of different things this year so i'm like first of all i just thank god because without him i couldn't have done any of this like without him none of this is possible and I try to remember that always like stay in a mindset of gratitude because none of this would have been possible without him like I've just made so many strides and I have so much more to go like I have so many more accomplishments and I can't even believe I'm here I can't even believe I'm starting a new job I'm scared as hell I am scared as hell about this new job, but I know that God is not going to put me in any rooms that I'm not supposed to be in. I know that he's not going to put me in any position that I'm not qualified for. And I know that I'm going to succeed because I'm not doing this alone. And, you know, I, I don't even want to get emotional, but I cry about everything, child. Um, and just like, even like with YouTube, like, you know, this past year, I really wanted to take YouTube seriously and, like, make it, you know, another career for me. And, you know, just being on that journey and, like, seeing my channel continue to grow, even in these past couple of days, just has been... I'm just like, what the heck is happening? Like, 2023 hit and all this stuff just started happening. I was like, oh my gosh. So, this is going to be such a blessed, blessed year. Like, I feel it in my body i feel it in my soul like this year is gonna be so blessed and highly favored and speaking of this new car i have to go to the dmv to get the car inspected i finally got my plates and stuff like that like yo the car buying process is already like stressful like i i really hated the process of buying my car like it was so so stressful but just even after you get the car like all the stuff you have to go through so much freaking work like <sighs> but anyway i'm gonna go uh get my car inspected and yeah i think today is gonna be a pretty chill day i think i really just want to reset um and kind of mentally you know prepare myself for this upcoming week and this new journey that i'm about to go on 
Um, and I have to send back some of my equipment um, from my old job. So, today's going to be a chill day. And like y'all know, um, tomorrow I'm supposed to be going out to eat with my friends. Um, I think I want to do like a get ready with me or something like that. You must regret the day that you love me. I gotta please give me some of that shit. Please cover myself, cover this car. She's playing with her anyway. Y'all, I just finished filming a get ready with me. So y'all know this whole week I've been talking about how I'm going out with my friends and going out with my friends. The day has finally come. And this is the look. If y'all want to see how I got this look, I think it'll probably be like, it'll either be before this video or the video right after. But y'all, like, I'm so pleased because my get ready with me, like, I wanted to give up and scrap the whole video. So when I saw how it came out, I was like... <laughs> It's actually pretty early. It's 5 o'clock. Our reservation is at 7, but I still have to wait for my friend Diani. Um, so, you know, I'm probably just going to be recording TikToks while I wait for her. But, yeah, she's, she's giving. To like it, but now, mm hmm. I, I used to love hot Cheetos. I can't eat them oh time. no, you was eating hot Cheetos. I was one of those. So you ain't love your stomach. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
little sweeter. But it's not bad. It's some lemon juice. It, but that's it. That's basically what it is. We are having lemon juice. That's what it is. Yeah, we don't fight. Yeah. Okay. 